We're here today at the uh, incinerator on, on uh, West Libby Road in Thibbeton. Um and it's actually the recording studio known as Wonderberg Recording Studios and it's located inside this old incinerator from 1937 and it's a reverberating, well, what's known as a reverberating incinerator and it's designed by none less than Walter Burley Griffin. As you probably know, Walter Burley Griffin was a uh, the uh, planner of uh, Canberra, but he also did many other works, of course, and uh, a series of about 13 different um, incinerators around Australia, which were basically, or well, pretty much, uh, pretty stupendous, fantastic pieces of work. So I'll walk around here, but uh, yeah, so you may be wondering, why would Burley, Walter Burley Griffin be designing incinerators? Well, back in the 30s, I mean, well, as, as now, uh, incinerators that weren't all that known as nice to be around, um, who wanted to live next to a, an incinerator. So Walter Billy Griffin thought, well, I'll design damn pretty ones. And he's done that with, with about 13 different of these incinerators around Australia. Many of them have been demolished since. But as you can say, th this is a one fancy incinerator. I always like to think this looks like a Sturt Desert Pea, it's a bit of a South Australian flavour there. But uh, the brickwork is amazing. The work, the stonework is also fantastic. But uh, as I said, it is also, uh, it is now currently a recording studio um, run by Mr. Lewis Wonderberg, and it's called Wonderberg Recording Studio. It's in a lovely little uh, timeout area here, like I said, in the recording studio. So you had bands and that out here and uh, enjoying themselves. I'm sure after a hard day, slog at the, uh, at the guitar. But, uh, yeah, so uh, there's the chimney, of course, and some more of that wonderful brickwork. And some of that, some wonderful stonework as well. So it's called a reverberating incinerator. Uh, that's basically uh, all the rubbish was uh, tipped in the, into the top of it. At the very top, not the uh, chimney of course, but uh, at the main top part. And it burnt from below. So uh, they could just keep topping it up with uh, rubbish, municipal waste of course. And it would be burning there and then they would empty the incinerator round about there obviously they didn't have a roller door back in those days but that was where they uh, got the uh, ash and everything out actually that's not quite true i think this went below another floor of sort of the basement where they got the ash and everything out so uh, some of it has been covered up apparently but it is safe and it is a state heritage listed and at the front maybe i should show you that in a minute it also has a uh, a national trust uh symbol on there as well so uh it is protected, thankfully, but I think you'll agree this is a uh, one amazing building um, structure, and yes, an incinerator. Now is a and it's now a recording studio, which uh, a very busy recording studio at that. So uh, well done, Lewis, for uh, doing such a wonderful work, a wonderful job, and it's quite nice around here as well. Well, it's a nice little area to uh, finish off a hard day slog at the. Uh, in the recording studio. We're here today with uh, Lewis Wonderberg and, and we're discussing the uh, Wonderberg recording studio and uh, we'll show you around and as, as you may know it's uh, located in an incinerator but we'll get more into that later but uh, hello Lewis. Hello, hey, how's it going? <laughs> and uh, well, tell us about your wonderful um, recording studio in this amazing structure that you've got here. Yeah sure so I've um so I've, I've been located here in the um, Feverton incinerator for about four years now. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're in kind of the basement of the incinerator. So apparently this is kind of where all the ash used to sort of drop. Oh. And then um, sort of trucks out the back would pull up and that's where they'd scoop, scoop everything. Um, so yeah, so I've been here four years. There, there was actually a recording studio here before me. So that, oh. was, called, that was called Against the Grain. And that was right. here for I think that was here for about 10, 10 years. So that's so it's been a recording studio for about fifteen years now, which is um, cool. Amazing. Um, and yeah, so it's like a really it's a per perfect sort of spot for it because it's um, 
like the, all the thick brick walls make it pretty pretty soundproof. Yeah. No, um, no complaints from the neighbours. <laughs> no, it's, it's really industrial around here, so you don't yeah. really. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so obviously, no no complaints from the neighbours, and yeah, it's and it's cl close to the city, so it's pretty convenient and. Mm -hmm. lots, of, lots of car parks so you can park all day so oh brilliant um, yeah <laughs> and was much trouble um converting a uh, in, incinerator into a recording yeah, well, studio well so so the, so the guy before who was here before me who leased um the building andy so he he, he did all the fit out and um sort of i i sort of yeah tweak tweak things a little bit to sort of suit the, the way that I, I wanted to run it i guess but mm. um but yeah I, I think i think it took him a, quite a while to sort of do, to, yeah, do everything, and mm. I, think, I think there's also a lot of asbestos in the building, so we had to kind of be a bit, a bit <laughs> okay. Be, yeah, be, be careful of that as well. So, oh dear. Um, but yeah, no, it's. Um, <laughs> but other, other than that, it's, yeah, it's a really, really, really good building. Okay, no, no, it certainly is. Um, um, can, you, can you show us around? Yeah, uh, sure. So okay. yeah, so this I'll is the. You. So I guess this <laughs> is the um, this is the control room where sort of everyone. Um, like yeah when a band comes in we set up everyone in here and sort of track everything in here so um and then well, then, then, yeah, <laughs> then you can come through here this is sort of um yeah so this is oh the, there's the uh, brains of the area yeah, yeah so this is where <laughs> i sort of record yep. everything and sort of it's a bit of a sort of hybrid setup i guess it uses um old sort of of recording sort of equipment that um but then runs into a computer that tracks everything in there oh, so uh -huh. makes things a bit easier but um yeah this 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 desk is really cool so um wow. so it's it's a the brand's neve so it's like a really high end it's kind of like the rolls royce of kind of mixing desks back from the sort of early 80s oh fantastic <laughs> and um, the, the, B, the bbc actually they they custom ordered it um so um so yeah so and then and then billy thorpe he he bought it and then he, <laughs> he he owned it for quite a few years and then um the guy i used to work for he he bought um yeah bought it off i think billy thorpe's estate when he passed away so that's amazing yeah as, yeah. A, as a person who was in bands in the 80s i'm, I'm quite impressed we didn't, yeah. didn't didn't have anything like this though but <laughs> yeah no so yes yeah, so wow. lots of lots of gear and it gets yeah it gets really hot in this room just because is it, yeah, it's a bit yeah there's, a bit there's warm. no heating in here it just gets really hot because of all well, the equipment so hey it's an incinerator yeah yeah, yeah, yeah totally so, um so yeah so it's pretty yeah pretty small kind of setup but it's perfect for most sort of wonderful um, yeah yeah sort of band setups and, or whatever and yeah okay oh that, that's, that's excellent yeah <laughs> just, uh, And uh, oh, do we get to see the uh, soundproof booth or? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty, yeah. pretty... oh this is very exciting. But, uh, well, this is the uh, soundproof booth, apparently. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> oh, there's a, there's there's more, that's more good. Stories, okay. But, uh, yeah, no, like, I don't get people in there very often, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, that, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and and what um, what what bands have you had in there? Well, uh, um. Yeah, so yeah, so oh, I've, I've recorded yeah hun hundreds and hundreds of bands. In yeah. Here, so, um, but yeah, probably probably the most notable person. I so I got, I got a booking from like po Post Malone. Oh, okay. So the yes. American rapper with face tattoos and whatever. So that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, but but um, probably, and I, I had um, Jeff Martin from the Tea Party in a, a little while back. He, he was, um, yeah, he was pretty cool. Um, mm -mm had Jebediah in here a few, few months ago rehearsing because that, that was interesting because we um because they were all here for the um i can't remember what it was that the summer festival at the in benighton park oh yes yes yeah. but they um but half of the band are from um victoria and the other half is from wa mm. and at the time restrictions meant that um if you're from uh, wa you couldn't um interact with anyone from victoria so they had to yeah. so i had to set them up in here so they could still rehearse but be completely iso isolated from each other so wow tricky um, yeah it's a, a bit of a bit of a pain but it was yeah. fun um, oh. so yeah okay well that, that's brilliant here it is from another perspective again some of that wonderful uh carving i'm sure they look like uh, stirt desert peas and i'll put some links on the bottom to um, for you to uh, follow through some information regarding these uh, wonderful structures.
but I think they're fantastic. I think you'll agree with that. So Lewis, thanks for uh, ha having me around and showing showing around that uh, amazing place and um, and and thank you thank you very much. No worries. Thanks okay. For coming. All the best. Thank you. Bye. No worries, thank you.